the video about the armchair preppers, there's a couple of comments there by an individual that kind of worried me. Is that it's not, he said, well, I've got a year's worth of food and, and food preps or whatever stockpiled. That's fine. That's fine. We'll talk about that in just a minute. But what his, one of his comments was is that you only need to prepare for a natural disaster. A new type of plague, a new type of disease will never happen. Then explain HIV. HIV is the plague of the 20th century. That and the Spanish flu in the early 1900s. I mean, is, is don't, do we not know our history? Is it that, well, we're going to rely on science, we're going to rely on vaccines, we're going to rely on our doctors, our scientists, our government, to prevent the spread of a new disease. Okay, okay. Let's just, we're going to blow that right out of the water. Right out of the water. If HIV would have been airborne, we would be in some serious problems. If it had been airborne. But as it stood, it was sexually transmitted disease, and Reagan administration ignored it until it was a full-blown epidemic, pandemic. Then there was the outbreak of the swine flu a few years ago. Y'all remember the swine flu? President Obama refused to close the borders, said that the impact on business would be too great. So our own government put profits before health. So it's no, no, it's not. The, we need to be pre preparing for disease, natural disaster, war. You want to talk about uh, natural disasters? Look at the millennials protesting because Trump won. Highways were shut down. You think Trump something, the nation will just be cont continue to be divided. Our food resources are getting stretched thin. Water resources, we've got cities now that are just a month or so away from running out of water. There was a thing a while back in Dallas was, was getting close to running out of water. Some southern cities like Atlanta, Georgia. Was that Atlanta? But anyway, anyway, no, it's not just natural disasters. What really bothered me, just really, really bothered me, is that the individual saying this probably doesn't know his history. I mean, there have been outbreaks of uh, plagues, and I know pestis was a bacteria. Let's use a plague as a generic term that anything that harms mankind. Plague of locusts, plague of frogs, biblical, um, HIV, plague, anything that harms humanity, let's just divide, define that as a plague. So if you say, well, Kevin, then there will never be an outbreak of disease. You're becoming complacent. And that's where the problem starts, is you're becoming, is, is that people get complacent. Well, we've got medicine and stuff. Well, fine. Where's the vaccine for HIV? Where's the vaccine for the bird flu that the World Health Organization says it's just a matter of time before it mutates? Where's the vaccine for that? I mean, the World Health Organization, the CDC, all these other government agencies, scientific agencies, say it is just a matter of time before we have some type of outbreak of a new flu that we do not have a vaccine for. Then there's other diseases like HIV. Back in the 80s, do y'all even, some of you young, young adults, do you even remember a time before HIV? Sure, we call cure, uh, vaccine against polio. Sure, we've done smallpox, but there's stuff that we cannot with our technology, our limited technology, we cannot develop a vaccine for.